what may end up being the biggest piece of that trade is who Seattle took at number five. Right. And you you were live with us when that happened. <laughs> was I was like shocked. The, the viral moment from, from this podcast when, when they took Devin Witherspoon. And, you know, I was quite visibly excited at the time yeah. because I, I fell in love with him once I started to hear some whispers that they liked him at the Combine. I was like, I don't really know who this guy is. I started watching him play. I was like, Holy shit. He's amazing. Like, this guy is different. And like, and like I said in the article on Sunday, you know, he plays with the juice that I don't think we've seen from a Seattle defender okay. since the team that they were honoring this week. Like, yeah. he is ferocious out there. Check this. He was targeted 11 times in this game. Like, they made a point early to go after him, and they got him a couple of times. And then after that, nothing. On 11 targets, he allowed three catches for 19 yards, broke up two passes. And still led the team with 11 tackles. Yeah, I love you mentioning, first of all, just the actual demeanor, the physicality, the edge. I can't wait for that reason to see him and Jamal when Jamal is fully healthy, oh which, God. like, even though Pete Carroll says no restrictions for this week, I think we're all kind of right, like, expecting a version of, like, are you going to be in there as part of this three safety look and not necessarily replacing Julian? We'll see what happens. Right. But, like, those two guys have juice, like, they have it. And, yep. I always hate talking about like, oh, that edge or that like, you know, dog mentality is missing from a defense because those guys are out there. They're balling out like they're trying their hardest. Who am I to sit here and say that? But like, hey, as a fan who watched this defense in 2012, 13, 14, and then now, if I'm honest with myself, there is sometimes that like chippiness that's missing and that yeah. that literal like without no pun intended, like that boom that's missing. And yeah. I think I agree with you a thousand percent. I think Devin brings it. And I loved, um, I m initially made fun of him because uh, it's so easy to do. But Michael Bumpus, uh, when we were talking about the game, it said, hey, my one word to describe, um, you know, Witherspoon from this weekend is geometry. And I said, that's such a dumb word. Why did you, <laughs> why did you choose geometry? What? I thought you were going to say like, <laughs> or, or like, tough. And he said, because he understands angles. Yep. in a way that I have rarely seen from a rookie defensive back. And I think that that is something that, uh, and this is what he's saying, I think that that's something that take, can take years to develop. It's how you let big plays get away from you. It's literally, it sounds silly, but like understanding the best angle to take something yeah. right away is such a gift. And that's what you get when you have five overall versus, you know, hey, we found this guy in the third round. That that's exactly it. And, and it allows you to play with the fierceness, with the ferocity that you can't, when you're yeah. thinking about your angle, right? Like if you have that innate understanding of the angle that you need to take of that geometry, then you just get to pin the ears back mm -hmm. and go. And that that's all his college tape is, is, is him doing that. And he doesn't seem blinded by the lights one bit at this level. No. And I loved, um, other people were uh, tweeting about this and there was a video that came out about it. I couldn't tell if it was him at first, but during the uh, uh, week one opener, when everyone mm -hmm. was still in a good mood, uh, this is maybe two minutes into the game. This guy was one of the most hyped players on the sideline. Yeah. There wasn't this kind of like, oh, I'm a rookie. I should, I'm just going to be here and I'm just going to hang out quietly. I mean, this guy was hyping everyone up. He was lifting up his arms. He was waving to the crowd, like, you know, waving to like get them to be loud. Like he's ready to go. He was yeah. ready to go week one. And yeah. uh, I, I have, um, and I'm, I don't know if you guys have done this. Obviously I've been watching a lot of Jalen Carter and yep. It's a very natural thing. Like I, the Seahawks made the decision and they made what was right for them. But there's still a part of you that's going to be curious because, I mean, um, we, we spoke with uh, uh, Devin's college coach and even he was like the cameras, because he was in the green room with, with Devin, he was like the cameras were trained on another player. The other player was Jalen. Like the, <laughs> the cameras were trained on Jalen Carter when the Seahawks were making their pick to get the reaction. They didn't even initially get the reaction from Witherspoon because they didn't think they'd take him. Yeah. So obviously you're going to naturally watch him even despite the stellar start to his career that Jalen is having. I feel fine. Like I, 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 yeah. I have loved what we've seen from Witherspoon. I really have. Well, you know, we had Danny Kelly on last week and he was saying, look, if we get 10 years down the road and there've been no off field issues or practice issues with 
Jalen Carter, then yeah, okay. You tip yeah. your hat and and nice pick, you, you re- right? maybe you relitigate the pick. But my guess is we're not gonna look back on the Devin Witherspoon pick and be like, man, they really blew that one, right? You know, I think we're gonna end up seeing two really good players. Mm-hmm. And you know, and and if Carter came here, he is the defensive line. Over there, he's like one of eight dudes that yeah, he has can do more damage. The the possibility, you know, he's only playing 50% of the snaps there. And so he's he's full go every time. So, you know, it's in the same way that you know, for the first year, it was almost impossible to talk about Gino without talking about Russell yep. Wilson. Yep. It's going to be the same thing with Witherspoon as a rookie uh, with Jalen Carter, you know, and, and it is, is what it is, but I'm, I'm really happy about that pick. 